Welcome everybody to our FBO feature card coverage of the 2021 Resistance Discs Open presented by Discraft. This is a DGPT Silver Series event as well as a PDGA B tier tournament. We are here at Trojan Disc Golf Course in Rainier, Oregon for some FBO action today. Today's coverage is brought to you by our sponsors, Sky High Smoke and Accessories in Medford, Oregon, and of course, Above Ground Level Discs. Head to AGLDiscs.com to check out their plastic today. We are Young Lou Commentary. My name is Cameron McKilling, and joining me in the booth today is my good friend, Amy Lewis. And without any further ado, let's head straight into our six-sided discs player profiles. And first up is Brittany Questenberry out of Grants Pass, Oregon, playing for Heiser Dyes Disc Golf. Hey, look at that. Heck yeah, and then me from Myrtle Creek, Amy Lewis, for represent AGL and Deuce Bags today. Or yesterday. And Deanne Carey from Shelby, North Carolina, representing Innova Disc Golf this weekend. And following up, we got Kat Merch from Rosebud, Arkansas, representing Innova. She throws really far. And hole one, 422 foot par three. All right, Amy, you keep telling me this is one of your favorite courses. Why don't you tell me all about it? Yep, this is one of the hardest courses in Oregon for sure. Uh, so all day before this, it was just raining, raining, raining. And then right before we started, the weather turned. So we all had a lot of gear on. This hole, you're just trying to shoot up and then lay up pretty much and take an easy three for most of the women. Got to stay away from those trees, kind of. That's a good pump there from Brittany. Gonna get right across the water and put herself in a good spot. Yeah, probably throwing trespass there. I know she likes to rip trespasses. What are you ripping on there? Uh, I think that's my Hades right there. Just trying to get up there. I was hoping to be left to flick up, but mm -hmm. anywhere up there's good. Yeah, just clearing the waters. Good start. Hate to go OB on the first hole. Yeah, I think only OB on this hole would be getting in that water. Yeah. Luckily, all that tall grass kind of saves it. That's a point. Yeah, that, I think that yellow dish just turns a T-Bird 3. So, I actually, uh, she stole that T-Bird 3 on Thursday from Deanne's bag. Oh yeah, it's nice. It's a nice <laughs> yeah. dish. She throws it a bunch. Of so it was Deanne's T-Bird 3 last weekend for Portland Open. Now it's Kat's T-Bird 3. That's sweet. It's always nice having friends like that where you can share a dish, kind of. I'm going to throw my mag right here. I need to yell Magnolia. It's a nice forehand. Let's Woo! get down. That saves you, just like you were talking about. Yep, for sure. Yep, so it's kind of chilly at this point, but we definitely were expecting it to be raining. Yeah, it was, uh, I know it rained for all of the men's rounds pretty much, at least yeah. the earlier cards. You'll notice us starting to shed our gear and our backpacks just getting heavier and heavier. Yeah, it was raining even right when we were waiting to tee off. For sure. And it just kind of stopped right at this point. Nice putt there. Yeah. From Brit. We're playing on Mach X's for this course this year, which is a lot different. What's usually, usually there? Uh, the same mocks that we have in Oregon. I'm okay. not sure. The ones like they use a riverfront and stuff like that, I think. But thanks to Jeff Corns, Trojans like pretty much getting renovated. It's it's really awesome. Thanks to Scotty and Jeff Corns. Yeah, and uh, this is uh, mock X's are my favorite basket, so I think it's pretty cool we got them out here. All right, hole two, two hundred and forty-three foot par three. This is uh, they call it the Feldberg hole. Yep, Feldberg aced it at Worlds when they had Worlds in Portland. Pretty much thrown over the water. Uh, you're hoping to get a two or maybe one on this hole. Yeah, sure. this is definitely uh, an iconic hole here at Trojan. Yeah, that first opening has grown in a ton from when I first started playing it. Yeah, so. if you watch the uh, clip of Feldberg, it's like, not, it doesn't look like that at all. Yeah, it's grown in a lot this year at Trojan. And that's not a bad throw from Britt. She'll have a putt. Yeah, I'm going to be throwing my second one right here. But I'm a little intimidated by that small gap right there, so... Oh, looks like some wind punches. Oh, and you skip off the water and the, the uh, spotter's gonna call it OB here, but... We'll uh, see what yeah, the I final like, call is. I always like to go up there and make sure for myself what's safe or not. For sure, make sure you guys are doing that. That one is safe. Here's this T-Bird. 
Yeah, yeah I think that's what you do. Got to crush. Runs it into the tree and... Uh, okay. Cat's gonna be parked. And no two meter roll, because we're in Oregon. So. Oh yeah, quite a bit different than a couple weeks ago, huh? Yeah, a lot nicer in my opinion. So we're all looking at my disc. It's half in the water, half on the land. I personally thought it's safe, so I told him that and we ended up taking a vote on it. And we're gonna check it out from that angle. It looks like you're good. you're good. Yep, yep, we voted safe on it. Uh, I've been playing disc golf a long time, so I just gave my opinion and everybody agreed. That's all. And that was a solid birdie from Deanne. We're going to check that out again on this cash cam here. Great two. Ooh, yeah, that's a great putt. Especially two holes in. Really good putt. And a nice two Ooh. for you as well. Yeah, I was stoked to get that one. Get yourself on the board early. That's for sure. Gotta take your birdies when you can at Trojan. Tian trying to get her disc out of the water. Yeah, this side of the pond's pretty gnarly. Nice little tap in. Great birdie from Cat. Way to use that tree as a backstop. Did we see Brittany's butt? She, she almost had it, but I think it was just a little short. Yeah, I think the cameramen were a little locked out from where she was in the bushes back there. Hole three, 343 foot par three. Uh, this one just got all the water on the right side and the road on the left. So yeah. pretty narrow fairway here. Yeah. yeah, this is one of my favorite ones just cause yeah, it's fun. I throw just an overstable driver, try to get up there as far as I can and usually flick my mag and try to get a three on it. It's tough that the road's OB, so all that brush on the left, like if you're in there, you have to play it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it can be pretty thick. Oh, just a little bit left, but we'll just catch up with you in a clearing. second. Yeah. I like that shot. That was a nice straight. It's a little skip. Oh, it's good. But... Yeah, hard when you skip into that. To not skip into that uh, yeah. tall brush there. Oh. A little high. She gets oh. down safe. Could have could have been really bad. Yeah. Shout out to the uh, people in the canoe that were fishing discs out of the pond. I thought that was pretty cool, as well as the scuba diver I saw out there. Yeah, there's hundreds of discs get thrown in there, so yeah, they always try to make sure to have someone on the water. Oh, and that tree saves her from going straight out to the highway. Yeah. That was... Uh, then, yeah, she went out up there. I think she'd have to play from, like, up up there. Even yeah, and you see, she's just going to pitch out. Yeah. Low sailing. Get up there. Oh, oh the that tree kicked her out a little. So she has a pot. She'll have a look at the basket. Not too bad. Throwing my lucky mag. That's Sometimes a nice I just flick. throw it and close my eyes. Oh, oh that looked like it was going in. Whew, I wish. That's a great wish. throw. Thank you. Oh, an unfortunate tree for Deanne. Yep, it's a tough, it's a small hallway up here. And they moved the back, the basket back some from the or did you see? So, it's a good little upshot to get up there. Even Ooh. tougher. Mm -hmm. That'll work. Get herself up inside the circle for a putt. Brittany from back there for a par. Oh man, that is a huge par save. Yep, that was a good one there. And we're gonna check that out again on this Dark Ace Cash Cam. Brittany Questenberry to save par from. That's gotta be at least 50 feet out. Yeah, I'd say so. A little that's, fist pump action. She puts with the judge. So, yeah, there's a the judge there. Good job, Britt. Yep, oh. I was like, oh my god, Brittany, your putt was way too good, dude. Just couldn't. Couldn't get it. She definitely big putted me there. Yeah, hard not to with something that clean. Yeah, it was a great putt. Great putt. Cat yeah. gonna take her double. 
Yeah, but honestly, for Trojan, a double, you could do a lot worse on a lot of them. You could do a lot yeah. worse. That is very true. And a bogey for Deanne. Yeah, and I'll be putting in for a bug, which really ain't too bad on that hole. Yeah, such a narrow fairway. And now a break for a word from our sponsors. And we are back at hole four, a 420 foot par three. Tell me about it, Amy, what are you throwing? Yep, um, well for me, I was thinking I'm gonna throw a flick on this one, just to try to get up there. Uh, they have it in a new setting, usually they play over where those flags are and stuff, but there's a wedding this weekend, so they set it up over here. Uh, right of the pass OB, and then waters OB. A little bit of headwind, I felt like, for that. Yeah, it looks like it pushed it right down. She clears the water, no problem. Yep, I was kind of nervous it was going to come back, but it's hydro died, so. Oh, came there back. you go. It's right over the little uh, tall grass there. Can be out in the open. Let's yeah, get I was stuck. Thank you. I was really stuck for that. Dan cranking one out. Oh, it gets caught by that tree just a little bit. You can see how wet it is out there. Yeah, that she hits was a those good branches. Shot. Cat ripping it a little low. Looks like it burns out just a little bit on her, but she's gonna be safe. Yeah. A little high, but not out of Britain's butt range. Cat from deep. She's gonna be right under the basket for her par. You can see Deuce Baggins back there. He's always following me, helping me out when I'm up in Portland. Good old Bob. Yeah. That great, guy's awesome. Great supporter for sure. He's always got my back. The Deuce Bags and all of them. Always got my back. I'm trying to throw it up there, but what are you going to do? A little high. Easy par, though. Great putt. Brittany's really got some good putting going on. Yes, yeah, she does. Way to get things started there, Britt. Ooh, a little high, but knocks it down for her. Yeah. There we do. Easy peasy. Yep, I'm always happy to take par on any hole at Trojan, honestly. <laughs> and Kat's going to tap in, and we're going to have a nice little par frame here on hole four. And we're going to move over to hole five. 601 foot par four. There's Landon Mortensen. Nice job. Thanks, Landon. Um, we have uh, OB on the right over there by the parking lot. OB, of course, in this water here, in the water long. And other than that, you just want to hit the short grass there, huh? Yeah, yeah. This hole has always been a tough hole for me. It's hole one of the ORDGC layout. Uh, yeah, you're just trying to get up there as far as you can, but not too far to the bushes, not too far right. Then you just got to throw over the water. It's an intimidating hole for me, for sure. That was a crush from Brittany. Yeah, that Getting was Dylan to turn around. Yeah, really. Need to readjust good. after that. I try my best, but yeah, don't get too far up there. That's still some good distance, though. Yeah. Should set yourself up for an all right throw back across. Yeah, hopefully I have good, some good footing, for sure. Yeah, the grass was very wet still. Oh, well, pulled it a little right. That's a hard spot. I believe that's still safe. Yeah, it was only in the parking lots. OB. And a crush from Cat. Yeah, she throws really far. That is really that's far. Sure. Perfect spot right there. Because the bush is kind of lower on that left. Oh, yeah, I see. The so, little gap there. That's great. Yeah, I probably should have tried to lay up, but I tried to go for it. Looks like it just got a little too much turn. Yeah, my dang Paul Radden, Hades. Oh, no, not Paul Radden. 
Yeah, I didn't go out of bounds, actually. I lost it in those bushes. Yeah, I was going to say, we, so, we put the graphic up yeah. there just because we don't have a lost oh, graphic. Oh, yeah, so but penalty stroke. Penalty stroke, you are going to see the score reflected in that. And that was a great throw from Deanne to get around the tree and over the water. Yeah, Brittany throwing her celestial disc driver. I forget, I think she said it was a king, but I'm not sure. She has a mid and a driver with celestial disc on the top. Nice easy throw there for Cat. Yeah, she was in a perfect spot. Yeah. She's gonna have a putt there for her birdie. Yeah, so I had to go back because I lost my disc. Retry. Try to get it over there, but this hole just eats my shorts every time. Ooh. Here's Britt. Oh, yeah. Right under the pin. So I think they just might shot, but I was down there and I just upshot it up. I'm right there on the right. Yeah, the I think Jack was saying he was having a hard time getting down there behind you. Yeah, it was wet and tough down there for sure. <sighs> Try my best, but what are you going to do? Oh, and just off the top there for Cat. A little skippy. Yeah, she's putting for three, which is really good. And a solid par there. Yeah, by this time the weather's changing. It's like warming up. We all have rain gear and all kinds of stuff jammed in our backpacks. Yeah, you can see all our cameras are wrapped up in rain bags and Yeah. Jesse's already stripped his jacket by now. Yeah, I figured I'd have my jacket on the whole time. So just wore one of my good long sleeves. And a tap in par there for Brit. It's good bit, just like a little and moving on to hole six. This one's a little shorter there for us. 292 foot par three. This one's uh, kind of like out on a peninsula, so OB in the water, like always. Yep, yep, OB in the water. I like to throw a forehand on it, a lot of people do, but it also has a great backhand line. It mostly depends on the wind. I would think, I personally think for this hole when I get up to it. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it's like super calm right now when we were playing. It's like a lot different. A little bit of wind, but yeah, not pretty bad calm at all. for being out on the lake. Because you're like almost in the kind of in the lake on this peninsula. Mm-hmm. Britt's gonna be safe, but probably not a great spot. At least lots of grass. Might be a little tough to find the disc back there. Yeah, that's a good oh, one. Oh wow, good throw from Dia. A little death putty, but great shot. She hooked this one. Crushed. Oh, Is she getting hook. behind the pin? Yeah. Oh wow. That's uh, a smash. I almost thought she might have went too long, but I, I'm not. I think we find it down there. I try to throw my forehand, but yeah, a little weak. Not a bad spot though. Yeah. Not too bad. Lay Makes out. for a nice safe play. Yeah. Three on this hole is never bad. I feel like any hole where you can throw it in the water, taking par is awesome. Yeah, for sure. Which is like 80% of the holes. Yeah. I would. I would have lost so many discs if I was playing this layout. Yep, for sure. DM carry. For two. Oh no! Air balls it to the right. A little uphill putt here. That's a good comeback here. Easy par. Yeah. Man, look at that comb. It's crazy. It's so calm out there. Yeah, that water looks good. I mean, aside from it being so green. Yeah. <laughs> nice and still. Easy par there. And Brittany completes the par frame. Hi, Curtis. And now a word from our sponsors. The path to the top is often long and difficult. With many hills for you to climb and obstacles to overcome. And at times, the journey may seem never ending. But why stop before you reach the top? With a little hard work, determination, 
and some help from your friends. You too can reach the next level. Above ground level discs, elevate your game. And here we are at hole 7, 388 foot par 3. A little bit of water here at the beginning. Other than that, big open fairway, just some trees on the left side. Yep, this is a hole that's been altered from the RDGC layout just for safety, but it still plays really good. So, pretty much you try to throw up there. Left of the path is OB. And okay. The bushes, on, the bushes yeah. there on the left are OB. I'm not sure if the bushes on the left are OB or if it's the path, but. And then the road on the right, so be. Yeah. That's when I was driving in. Brittany and Deanne got first. Brittany throws a good one up there. Just nice and in the middle. Deanne crushes one. That is so easy. Let's go. Just past Britt. Good spot. Good spot to be. This is a crush. She definitely like out yeah out drove us by a bunch. Can't throw so far. Yeah, for sure. She's only what 19? Yeah, I think 18, 19. Definitely crush fest. I'm trying my best to get out there. That's a good throw though. Yep, I like nice it. Nice and in the middle. Just about the same depth as Britt there. Maybe even a little farther it looks like. Yep, I think we're pretty close to even there. That's a good little upshot. Give yourself an easy par putt. Yeah, I tried to flick my wizard up there, but apparently my wizard's not stable anymore. Oh, no. So it just pushes OB there. Nice safe play there from Deanne. Yeah. Put herself right next to Brittany, playing some buddy golf out there. I'm putting um, for bogey from the OB. I was really happy to make that putt, for yeah, sure. that was a solid putt. Definitely a little nervy when you have to putt from the out of bounds line. Yep, for sure. Good putt. That's a good putt, but great. Yeah, her putt's looking very clean today. Yep, for sure. It's always been one of her strongest parts. I mean, she's good at everything, but she's always been a great putter. Dia knocking down a par. And I believe Cat stepping in her par here. Get out of the way, Bob. Deuce bag. <laughs> <laughs> and hole eight. 291 foot par three. This one is going to be down this uh, fairway and to the left, kind of around this corner. Uh, road OB on the right. Yeah. And uh, OB past the little wall thing there, correct? Yeah. And you don't really want to go in those bushes. They're super thick. So it's almost like OB because you have to pitch out. Right. You're going to so, take the extra stroke. Yeah, you pretty much. There. Yep, uh, we're playing like a shorter pad. Uh, the men actually have a brand new pad, so they've put in cement at Trojan. After playing here five, six years on bricks, they got some cement. Oh, and Brittany sticks it just OB. That was just an unf unfortunate skip right there. Yeah, like, that was a good throw, too. Yeah, it was. It was a great toss. Dan gets around the corner. Oh, wow. That was great. Yep, it gets that left skip instead of right like Britt got. Ooh, close. Yep, close. But got it safe there. I'm a little bit hugging the bushes, but I like the throw. That's a good line, though. Yep. It doesn't even kind of play with the out of bounds. Yeah, no skipping, no flare skip for me. Oh, wow, what a par save. Yeah, huge from a knee. That was giant. And we're going to check that out again on this Dark Ace cash cam. Good. I was hoping you guys were going to cash cam this one. Yeah. From a knee. Ooh, little left with those mock X's At catch. least maybe 60 feet out. That's huge. Yeah. That was a good one. I'd say maybe like 40 or so, but the uphill, downhill oh, yeah. really makes it floaty. All right, here I'm going to just float it. Oh. I so thought that was going in. That one was a bummer. I'm not a fan of down. I'd rather putt uphill than downhill, personally. Yeah, for sure. 
Oh, right side. Yep, those mock X's. They either hold you or they spit you. Yep, yeah, a like, couple easy bars. Yep, tap in for par. I'm happy not to be in those bushes over there on that hole. That's just, yeah, tough hole. You can really get yourself in, in the brush. Yeah, great par frame. Hole 9, 593 foot par 4. You do have a uh, Mando on the right there. You got to get through these first sets of trees and out into the open and turn the corner. And then the basket is uh, all the way back there at the last set of trees. Uh, shout out to Dylan for grabbing this uh, flyover for us because they had stolen the basket on Wednesday night. So when we did our flyovers on Thursday, there was no basket there. You saw Terrible. Jesse subbing in for the basket because the uh, Pro Tour decided to to lock the basket up for the night and not leave it out there. Yep, yep. A mock X got stolen, so keep your guys' eye out for that. Maybe try to get it back to him would be sweet. Lacing this tunnel shot. Good throw, Deanne. Yeah, I think that was a strike right there. That's a good toss. Yeah, that's a great spot to be. Oh no. Tree kick and but still inside the Mando, so she can still, you know, get up there. Yep. No extra stroke, but just a tough spot to be in. Yep. That's a great gap. I was really stoked to get up there through the gap. Whew. Stayed out of the brush. All the brush is really tough. You could go right or left on this hole, but I like to try the flick. I think it's just a lot more open, and I like flicking. Yeah, that was great. You're in a perfect spot. Yeah, I was stuck. Maybe like 80, 90 away. I couldn't believe Britt goes for this with that ceiling of trees right there. Keeps it so low. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I was blown away by that one. Dylan had a heart. He had no idea. He's like, oh, where do I even look? Yeah, she's like 35, so, something like that from the pain. On par four. Oh, no. That's a great forehand, too. Yeah, right there. for sure. Pin deep. Pin deep, but open A little flat. to the right, or left, rather. It's a good layup, but again, it's hard to get the height because of just those branches. Yeah, how low they're hanging down. Oh my goodness, oh, Amy Lewis! Go. you got to be kidding me. I was stoked on that. Changed my wizard from my old one that went OB to a brand new one. That, that was a giant throw in, and we're definitely going to see that on this Dark Ace cash cam. Yeah! You were so far out. Whew, like 80, I think 80, 90. At least. Oh, wow. That was sweet. My first throw ever with that disc, with Disc Bros uh, Hemp Wizard. That's so cool. Yeah, I even get to do the run in. I was like, oh man, I feel like Danny Espinosa when he threw in the Justice and got the 2016 ORDGC footage. Long yeah. run in. Oh, oh, just off the front. That was looking so good, too. Oh man, everybody's Two in a that row. Front. Is Britt going to be able to get it over for birdie? I think so. Nice. She was not going to let you big putter there. Yeah. That would have been an easy one to get big putter on, though. That was insane. Yeah, those are great. Those are the only two threes for the day out of our division. So that's a that was a good hole for sure. Dang, that is killer. Mm -hmm. couple pars there, which is still respectable on that tough hole. And that's going to wrap up our front nine coverage. You can uh, check out the scorecard here. Brittany with eight pars in a row and then a birdie. And then we got some more color on the scorecard for everyone else. You and uh, Kat finishing at plus three through nine holes and Deanne at even par. And uh, Yeah, that's a great front by Britt and, Kat, or Britt and uh, Deanne for sure. Yeah, that is uh, no bogeys for Brittany so far. That yeah. is very impressive. <laughs> very, very Follow us on social media at BW Pro on Facebook and Instagram. And of course, do all the YouTube -y YouTube stuff while you're here on our YouTube channel. And uh, we will catch everybody in the back nine. And uh, see you soon.